Success in these games is about keeping a steady stride. It's also about scaring your opponent with a very intimidating face right before you battle. I usually go with something like this. From the girl in the bubble, that's me. I hope you're ready to play some HQ words because we're gonna get the game started soon. Over 160,000 people are in the game already, so tell your friends, tell your family, go knock on your neighbor's door. While people are joining the game, I'm gonna tell you how to play. You're gonna spin a wheel and it's gonna land on a letter. That's your free letter for the entire game. I'm going to show you 10 puzzles. Use the keyboard to guess the blank letters in any order. If you guess a wrong letter, you get one strike. If you get three strikes in a puzzle, you you are eliminated from the game. Lucky for you, you begin every puzzle with zero strikes. You've read a book before, right? Of course you have. Obviously you know words. That's all you need for this game. I gotta go run 2.3 miles. I'll see you soon. Everybody, welcome to the newest, the tightest, the wordiest game to drop from the HQ unit. I'm talking about HQ Words, the game where you solve word puzzles to win cash, baby. We are live from New York City. We're halfway through the week. Also, it's a monumental holiday. I don't know if you had the day off or not, but happy National Word Nerd Day to all the logophiles, all the lovers of words. That's a new word. It's actually Word Nerd Day. That's a national holiday according to the internet. I am your logophile host, Anna Roisman. You can find me here all over social media. If you're here to make a little money tonight, you're in the right place. Tonight's prize is $1,000. And if you are one of the three fastest solvers, you're taking home more money than the rest. How sweet is that? Now's the time for your free letter. Spin the wheel around my face. Once upon a time, there lived a girl in the wheel. All she had was the alphabet and the wheel and to be continued. Hmm, I hope you got one you like because that letter will show up at the beginning of any puzzle, okay? Word to your motherboard. Have you heard the word, okay? Neil Patrick Harris, NPH, will be taking over HQ tomorrow night for a special event. He will be guest hosting HQ Words at 9 p.m. with a special edition of How I Met Your Mother HQ Trivia immediately following at 9.30 p.m. Little switch up of those times. And we will have the biggest words prize ever, $10,000. Tomorrow night, you don't wanna miss this, right here, 9 p.m. Eastern time. NPH, gonna be great. It is time now for the first puzzle. Remember, the faster you solve, the more money you can win. So take your time, but seriously, don't fall asleep or anything. I wouldn't do. I want you to win some of that prize. Rely on the hint. It will help you solve the puzzles. Here we go. Your first hint is lumberjack clothing. Since this is the first puzzle, I'm gonna help you out here. Type in the letters L and N in the keyboard below. Okay, what do lumberjacks wear? You got this. And your time is up. The answer is flannel. Flannel is the puzzle one answer. 196,900 solved the puzzle. 9,328 eliminated off the bat on flannel. You know, flannel shirts, flannel pajamas. Also very popular, very popular outfit among uh, people who do improv comedy. They wear a lot of flannel too. Okay, we're moving on. We're getting the hang of this, right? Do you have music playing in the background while you play words? That's so brave. I want you to type in this music accessory. That's your hint. It's only puzzle two. I'm confident that you know this one. If you listen to music, you know this. Uh, 
and your time is coming to an end. I'd call this the OG accessory of music, headphones! I'm talking about headphones. 174,290 solved the puzzle. 23,000 are eliminated on headphones. Headphones are the best. I gotta say, I just switched to wireless headphones. Woo, game changer, seriously. Check it out. So listen, you may be a word nerd, which you don't need a resume for, but for this you might. Type in this profession. Maybe you even do this in real life, or someone close to you does this profession. Either way, you gotta figure it out. I know this is one you've heard of, or even hired in your life. And ladies and gentlemen of the court, I'm talking about a lawyer. Lawyer is the answer. 144,800 solved the puzzle. 30,600 are out of the game without a lawyer on this game, at least. I got to give a shout out to my dad. He's a lawyer, Richie Royce. Okay, I hope you had a great holiday and got to spend some time with your loved ones. Speaking of, uh, I want to know these family members. Maybe you're very close with these relatives or maybe you don't see them enough. There are all kinds of relationships you can have with your family members. But who are these? And the answer is nieces and nephews. Nieces and nephews. If you're an aunt or an uncle, type in the names of your nieces and nephews in the chat. 138,700 solved the puzzle. 7,873 are eliminated. Let us know who's your niece, who's your nephew. Type it in right now. Give them their own shout out on HQ Words. So I used to work in restaurants, so I have always paid attention to these. Okay, who's hungry? You gotta tell me this food trend. Some food trends are to lose weight. Some of these are to look cool. Some are just very strange, right? All right. I bet you've heard of this food trend before. And we're taking it back to the caveman days. I'm talking about that paleo diet. Who here has gone paleo? For 2019, 100,417 solved the puzzle. 38,800 are eliminated on paleo diet. Don't you eliminate like sugar and carbs and plans with people because you're just eating meat at home? I don't know. I've never done it. You know what though? I do respect people who uh, go on the paleo diet. That's a lot of respect for you. But I also respect all of you right now. I'm so proud to say that you just made it halfway through the game, baby. You did it. You got five puzzles in the bag. There are only five to go until you get to brag about that words win. Are you ready to become a word nerd on National Word Nerd Day? I think so. Your hint is quirky fictional character. Say that three times in a row. Quirky fictional character. It's someone I know you've heard of. Traditional, they're a little quirky. 21,000 solved the puzzle off the bat. Did the rest of you get it? I sure hope so. I'm talking about Willy Wonka. He's the man with the chocolate factory. 76,200 solved the puzzle. 26,866 are eliminated on Willy Wonka. Remember, remember my favorite line in Willy Wonka? The snozberries taste like snozberries. That's, that's one of my favorite lines. Willy Wonka brings back so many good memories. What a good movie. Do you remember the grandparents who all slept in one bed together? <laughs> this brings me to my next hint. Tell me what's at grandma's house. Seriously, go knock on her door and just figure this one out, right? Grandmas always have this at their house. Did you ask grandma yet? I hope so, because she's probably got a bowl of candy. That's the answer. Bowl of candy, 44,668 solved the puzzle. 
34,300 are eliminated on Bowl of Candy. Oh, it's my favorite snack. You know what I would have in my bowl of candy? I'd have peanut M&Ms. You let me know in the chat, what is your candy that you're gonna have in the bowl of candy at grandma's house? Okay, but for now, who here is adventurous, okay? Are you feeling brave, my friends? I need you to type in this daredevil sport. It's probably not something like ping pong, right? It's a sport that takes a lot of guts and skill because it's for daredevils. And let's see who bravely answered this. I'm talking about a big, wa big wave surfing. Big wave surfing, not just any waves, big wave surfing. 17,461 solved the puzzle. 31,174 just got schooled on big wave surfing. You were taken out of school. You were taken <sighs> under the wave and you're not making it through the rest of the game, unfortunately. But we're moving on to puzzle nine. Who's feeling fine? Sometimes I wish I had special powers that I could control with my brain. You too? Cool. Happy Halloween! Your hint is witch's activity. I just turned into a witch. You've seen the movies and the TV shows. A witch has very unique activities that pertain to her craft. So just type in this one. And I'll tell you, the witch's activity, I'm talking about hexing your enemy. I, I turned into an old witch. Hexing your enemy. 2,161 solved the puzzle. 19,310, I guess, just got out. They were schooled. They were wiped out. They were let go of the game on witch's activity. I hope it wasn't a witch, though. I don't think any witches helped with this activity because you, my friend, just made it to the final puzzle. Okay, you earned this spot on your own. No witches help. We started tonight with about 230,000 players, and here we are at the finish line. You're a brilliant logophile tonight. It's the word of the night. So apply it to the last puzzle, okay? Here we go. Your hint is chit chat. And you chit chat with your friends and your coworkers and your family and maybe an Uber driver. Type it in for the win. And the thing I want to know is, got any juicy gossip? That's the final answer. You got any juicy gossip? I have some gossip for you. It looks like 2,602 people just won HQ words, baby. You did it. Congratulations. Let's take a look at our fastest players in tonight's game. In first place, winning $300.19, best girl, Yuri. Yeah, she's the best tonight. In second place, who just won $150.19, Chenta Pluch. And in third place, $50.19, Zoom Cusp just won. You won HQ Words. You did it. That is the game for tonight. Congratulations to all of our other winners and our first time players and the coolest word nerds around town, right? Merry Christmas, word nerds. I wish we could have a sleepover. I do, but I got to go tell my grandma I need her to hide that bowl of candy because I am on the paleo diet. <laughs> no, I'm not. I already told you I'm not. I'm Neil Patrick Harris. Oh no, wait, <laughs> I'm not. I'm kidding. He'll be here tomorrow night. I'm Anna Roisman. Say hi, especially if you got any juicy gossip. Hit me up on social media with all of that. I will see you back here tomorrow night for a new game at 9 p.m. with NPH. That's right, we're doing this at 9 p.m. tomorrow night. And then he's doing HQ Trivia, How I Met Your Mother, HQ Trivia at, at 9.30. Until then, hey, go read a book or something. I love you. Bye.